<coughs> Just about to start a project with the uh, for the solar chicken water defrosting or um, heater. I got my final component here. This is a um, thermostatically controlled uh, DC uh, switch. So when temperature is within a certain range, and you can see the, uh, the probe here, when it's within a certain range it will pass DC um, current through. So I have that guy, and I have this guy, which is my uh, DC timer. So when uh, the time is within a certain range, it will uh, pass DC current through. And then I have my actual immersion heater, uh, which is 12 volt DC. So what I'm going to do <coughs> is I'm going to set, I'm not sure the order here, I haven't fully thought this through, but the timer is going to be set to uh, turn on once or twice a day for 30 minutes at a time to power this guy and I'm going to have my um, thermal switch here set to come on if the uh, ambient temperature is uh, below uh, 5 degrees Celsius um, then it's going to pass uh, electricity through the timer and then into the uh, immersion heater so if the temperature is below 5 degrees, uh, 5 degrees or uh, minus 5 degrees Celsius or below, and my timer uh, is set to come on, say, at 8.30 in the morning, if at 8.30 in the morning it's below 5 degrees, uh, minus 5, um, then it will turn on my immersion uh, heater in the, in the chicken bowl. So that's what I have set up. I think the math works on this. I'm going to do the rest of the video. Uh, I'm going to put this together and then do a bit of an explanation uh, uh, after the fact as to what I what I did. Now, the earlier video, I took a, a four-gallon bucket. I cut the top off it. It makes for a good, durable uh, water bucket. It's a sufficient height so it'll hold enough water. It's about six inches tall. What I like about these buckets is when they're completely frozen solid I can still take them, turn them upside down and stomp on them to get the ice out. So they're thick enough that they don't crack at minus 20 um, getting the ice out of them. Whereas other containers that I had will. Um, and uh, it, it creates a nice wall to attach to fix the, uh, the immersion heater to. So I just, like I said, I cut a four gallon container in half so that chickens can get their necks over there and that it will hold sufficient water there for about 20 birds for you know maybe two days or something so the next step is I'll, I'll try and put all this together and uh, show you what I've come up with <coughs> 